Hey everyone, Wolflord Row here. Today we're asking if the foresight of Sanguinius and Kurz was intended by the Emperor or not. General spoiler warning to begin as the events we're discussing today are from across the Warhammer 40k universe, so you have been warned. But with that said, let's just jump straight in. Now of all the gifts and talents of the Primarchs, the foresight of Kurz and Sanguinius is definitely one of the most advantageous. Gifting the brothers sight into their immediate futures, able to seem and be one step ahead in combat, knowing when and where the enemy's blows will come. For that advantage though, there was an undoubted cost. Both brothers became haunted by their further futures they saw. For Sanguinius, the entire heresy was overshadowed by his duel against his most beloved brother, knowing that he would die at the hands of Horus Lupercal. For Conrad, his torment began far earlier, seeing a future of death and war on faces he was yet to meet. With Kurz's gift seemingly the more potent, it's safe to say it overwhelmed the young Primarch, who upon meeting his father the Emperor of Mankind, famously tried to rip out his own eyes. For all this personal torment it caused the two Primarchs, I've really been wondering lately if the Emperor intended his two sons to have the gift of foresight or not. And well, that's what we're discussing today. So, let's begin with yes. The Emperor did intend his two sons to have foresight. Well, perhaps the biggest reasoning or argument for this is obviously the Emperor engineered the Primarchs with their very creation. Along with his team of scientists, he gave them their very natures, crafting and overlapping their talents instilling himself within them. Magnus was clearly made to be the Psyker, to man the Golden Throne. Russ was made to have the Canis Helix, the Mark of Russ, and so on and so on throughout all his sons. Considering the Primarchs were created in such a way, it really makes it hard to believe the Emperor didn't intend for his sons to possess foresight. There's also the fact that two Primarchs have it. Throughout the Primarchs we see the overlapping of gifts, natures and talents. If the Emperor were going to give his sons foresight, considering his seeming failsafe plan of overlapping things, well, it would make sense for him to give it to two Primarchs. And I think these two factors really are the best pieces of evidence in the yes argument. However, they are not alone, and I do think there's more. The Emperor has mentioned before, and I think a few times to his sons, that he wasn't always going to be around that there would come a time they'd have to manage without him. And I'm trying to rack my brain on when and where he said it. For some reason Horus is sticking in my mind right now, but admittedly I can't quite remember the exact circumstances off the top of my head. However, if the Emperor knew or thought he wasn't always going to be around, it would make sense for him to ensure all his abilities had been inherited, and that would include his foresight. Leaving the Primarchs without it, perhaps his biggest ability, would leave them with a big disadvantage, and not something you'd expect him to do. We also need to remember as much as foresight has appeared to be a curse to Sanguinius and Kurz, the Emperor intended to raise the Primarchs on terror. They would have had his tutelage from the very beginning. They would have been able to understand how those futures aren't set, learnt how to use their foresight rather than letting it dominate them, particularly in Kurz's case. 
We know that fate, or well, the ruinous powers intervened. But if it hadn't, the Angel and the Night Haunter's future could have well been very different indeed. Okay, now on to no. The Emperor did not intend to pass on the foresight talent. To play on a quote from a certain legendary movie, nature finds a way. The Emperor may have engineered the Primarchs to be demigod-esque powerful warriors, beyond geniuses in intellect, but they are still his sons. In every way. They still all look like him, in their own ways, some more than others. Korax, for example, shares his raven black hair, and Lorgar is stated to look the most like their father in features. They may have all been given their talents, their roles, perhaps even their temperaments to some extent, but a lot is equally still hereditary in nature. Curzon Sanguinius could simply have inherited the gift of foresight naturally, something completely unexpected by their father. It's pretty clear all his sons inherited his stubbornness. I doubt that's something he would have planned for. If the Emperor did intend for them to inherit his foresight, then why didn't he do something about it upon reuniting with both sons? Admittedly, he could and most likely did speak with his sons regarding their gifts. But until we see it, we can't say for certain he did. And given Sanguinius and Kurz's struggles with their foresight, the effect that it had on their lives, I dare say it looks like the Emperor didn't do enough at all. Kurz was always a tortured soul from it and even Sanguinius became one throughout the heresy. If the Emperor didn't do enough to help his sons master it, perhaps it's because for once he was taken by surprise, that he didn't know how to help them master it, control it, because it wasn't something he placed within them. It wasn't something he intended them to have. It would certainly make sense given their outcomes. And for all this, there is perhaps a clue that the Emperor really didn't speak with his sons regarding it after all. When the Night Haunter spoke with Sanguinius upon Macrag, actually talking about the scattering, the topic of their foresight came up. And Kurz stated, Oh yes, we can both see the future. I rather suspect, therefore, that Father can read it like a periodical. Now that for me really gives off the impression that it hasn't been discussed with the Emperor at all. That Kurz is really left to just kind of assume how much the Emperor can see. That he doesn't really have any idea how much the Emperor knows or not. Like it hasn't been discussed. And Sanguinius really doesn't say anything to counter that notion either. Which perhaps is quite telling. One of the biggest questions regarding the Primarchs is the scattering. Did the Emperor plan it or not? And perhaps a good way of looking at it is if the Emperor did intend the scattering, would he really have risked sending off two sons with foresight to grow on the other side of the galaxy? It certainly seems that if any sons could have discovered the existence of the Ruinous Powers, something that the Emperor really didn't want. Other than Magnus, it surely would have been Conrad or Sanguinius. But it certainly doesn't appear to have been a concern, if the scattering was intended, of course. When I look at how little it appears to have been discussed with Conrad in particular, I really think I lean more on the side of perhaps it wasn't intended. However, considering how much the Emperor did engineer his Primarch's creation, and the fact that there's two of them with this particular gift, it really makes it hard to believe too. 
So this is actually a topic that I'm really quite torn on. If I had to make a decision one way or the other, I feel like you have to say the Emperor did most likely engineer this talent into them. However, like I said, given the sheer lack of evidence that he actually did give the Primarchs any training on the matter, that they really seem to have been left to handle it themselves, that does make me think twice. But anyway, as always everyone, what do you think? Did the Emperor plan on giving Conrad and Sanguinius foresight, or not? Was this a talent that they naturally inherited? Something the Emperor wasn't planning? Or was this his intention all along? He simply never intended on helping them master it. Did he maybe plan on only giving one Primarch the talent, being taken by surprise with the other? Or did he always plan for the both of them? As always, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. If you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. With that said, I am off and I'll see you all again real soon.